hopefully this is bright enough and hopefully this is not hey y'all welcome and welcome back today we are going to talk about my favorite vanilla perfumes i need to stop looking up here okay today we're going to talk about my favorite vanilla perfumes that are in my collection all right i'm not going to talk too much let's just jump right into it it's going to be in no particular order okay first one up is my Mon Guerlain by Guerlain. So the main accords are vanilla, lavender, woody, aromatic, powdery, balsamic, sweet, warm, spicy, fresh, spicy, and iris. All right, I should probably get something to spray this on. The only thing I have right here are index cards and some scissors. So we will make do with what we have. Let's spray it. Give it a shake, shake. It definitely smells like lavender. So if you were to pick up um, a fragrance that was marketed for men, you kind of get that. Like it's definitely not a masculine smell. It could be unisex, um, but off the first sniff, it's definitely giving like more masculine leaning fragrance. You can definitely smell the lavender. The bergamot uh, settles in very quickly so the bergamot doesn't last too long. And then maybe after like 10 minutes it starts to smell like vanilla. I know it's a base note but not too sweet. And not too floral. It's a perfect mix. So when you think of a floral vanilla, it is just that right in the middle. I actually had someone, I wore this to work one day, and I had someone tell me I smell like baby powder. If that kind of gives you like a sense of how light it is, how light and airy. But it's definitely not baby powder, but it's kind of like the same essence. It's just a florally vanilla with the lightness and airiness of a baby powder. <sighs> Very good. This honestly lasts me probably a good eight hour shift. Honestly, it does. But it definitely is an acquired taste. Okay, I know I'm picking randomly. Next up, which was my very favorite for a long time, is Princess by Killian or the longer version. I don't need a prince by my side to be a princess. You have your main accords. Sweet, vanilla, powdery, warm, spicy, fresh, green, amber, and citrus. So I got this because I wanted a marshmallow leaning fragrance. Ooh, it smells so good already. Oh my gosh. Uh, it, it smells so much better on the skin than it does on paper. It's like immediately it's marshmallow. Like immediately. And not like a sweet marshmallow. You definitely get the citrus in the opening. You definitely can smell the lemon in the opening, but it only lasts for a few minutes. Then you can immediately smell the green tea. That green tea is no joke. It's not too much ginger at all. There's nothing spicy about this. After about a good maybe hour or so, it turns into a very, um, it turns into a vanilla scent that's like very close to you. So this is not like a big projector in my opinion. It's very close to the skin, but not so light to where you, you can't smell it. Like I can smell this on myself. I can smell this on myself for maybe a good six hours. But definitely settles into that marshmallow and vanilla that is present in the base notes. This is a beautiful scent. Next up is Burberry Goddess. Main accords are vanilla, lavender, warm, spicy, and cacao. Okay. Okay, this one smells great. On paper, this is really strong. This is so strong. If you have a sensitive nose, this is not for you. 
Now, that ginger in the uh, top note, that is definitely prominent. It is very strong. It's definitely a mixture of ginger and lavender. But I love this so much. It's not something at all that I can wear every day. It's really overpowering and it's very strong and it's not something you probably would want to wear every day. But it's also not something that's like just for special occasion. Very strong very much ginger, very much lavender, and then it settles down into a uh, very warm, spicy vanilla after a few hours. This I can smell until I take a shower. This stuff is strong. But this smells so good. I should probably not be smelling too much because I have a few more to smell. This stuff smells good. This is amazing. It lasts a long time. Not your typical vanilla, very much warm, spicy, spicy, spicy vanilla. And then settles down into a much warmer vanilla, I guess. Okay, next up is the lovely La Belle by Jean-Paul Gaultier. And obviously you can see how much I love it by how much I have left. Main accords are vanilla, fruity, sweet powdery, aquatic, aromatic, woody, amber, fresh, and earthy. This stuff is the truth. And a lot of people say the, what is it, the intense version? It's just another flanker. Or it's a Le Parfum, I think. This stuff right here. Oh, this is so good. Mmm, so good. This is a warm vanilla, okay? This is a warm vanilla with a little bit of floral and a lot of sweetness. This is very sweet. And I'm saying sweet like juice. This is definitely uh, juicy like a fruit. So the pear you can definitely smell. And it settles into floral and then it becomes a very warm vanilla. Now this is not something that smells straight like vanilla out of a bottle. It's very much a warm vanilla. This is great. This lasts probably a good eight hours. I don't know if this is something that I get nose blind to because sometimes I don't think I can smell this on myself anymore after a few hours, but this stuff is good. This is really good. Next up, I only have a travel size, but next up is Eilish by Billie Eilish. Its main accords are vanilla, sweet, warm, spicy, cacao, amber, and powdery. This, in my opinion, should not say anything else on Fragrantica but vanilla extract. There is nothing different in this to me in the opening to uh, wearing it for a few hours to having it on all day. This smells the same all day for me. And what it smells like is straight vanilla extract. So if you've ever bought vanilla extract in a small bottle from the grocery store, this is that. This is that with a little bit of a deeper sweetness to it. That is exactly how I can explain it. But this stuff is good. This is really good. Now let me look at these notes again so I can actually tell you what I really do smell. I guess, yeah, I can smell the sugar and the mandarin orange. This is straight vanilla extract. It's very good though. Very, very, very good. Probably something that most people would say you should wear in the winter because it's so warm. But I honestly wear this all year round. If you're a vanilla girly, this is for you. If you're trying to get into vanillas and you love a gourmand or something warm and sweet, this is the first one you should get. Okay, all these other ones that I've shown are not typical vanillas. When you think of vanilla, perfume this is that and that's the best way i can explain it next up is a new pick or a, a new purchase for me this is my latest purchase from sephora this is the vanilla skin perfume by fleur and i know there's a body mist i think it's body and hair maybe 
This is the new perfume version. Okay, I never smelled the body mist. I have no idea what it smells like or if it even smells the same. But I picked up a travel size of this. I like it. Let's spray it. I'm sorry. Let's read the, the notes. I think this is right. I think this is showing me for the perfume and not the body spray. But let's read it. Main Accords are vanilla, sweet, woody, amber, powdery, balsamic, warm, spicy, musky, and soft spicy. If I spray this on a tester in Sephora, I would not have picked it up. This does not smell like much of anything on paper. This is definitely something that you would need to mix with your body chemistry in order to really get the full effect. This is very close to the skin, but you will smell it on yourself. I actually wore this today. And I had to keep like, every time I moved, I'm like, ooh, is that me? Right, it opens up with sugar, pink pepper, and red apple. That is a great description. It is very light, 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 light. It's very light, but you can smell the sugar with like a hint of something spicy. That is your pink pepper, okay? To me, like, I get a whiff of it, and I'm like, do I like this or do I not? Like, it's that little tiny bit of spice that's in there that kind of not really throws it off, but it adds something to it that makes you think, do I like it or do I not? This stuff is good. Very sweet. Um, as it wears, it turns into cashmere. I won't say I smell too much of floral in this, but it's definitely not a straight vanilla. It's not something as sweet as Eilish. But you can definitely smell the sugar, you can smell the pink pepper. Once that settles down, it gets into a more soft cashmere vanilla-y scent. And this is very much a skin scent. For the name to be Vanilla Skin, it is the perfect name. This is another one I would recommend to purchase if you are starting your vanilla collection. So if you are one who loves a sweet gourmandy vanilla, get the Eilish and get this one. This one is not too gourmandy but it is a vanilla that you can wear every day. This is a skin scent that stays very close to your body, but you can smell it on yourself, and I believe other people can smell it as well. All right, last but not least, because I wear it every day, is my Vanilla Musk, okay, by Namat. I wear this under my perfumes to either make them more subtle or to enhance the vanilla note in them. The main accords are vanilla, powdery, musky, and sweet. There's nothing too much musky about it, and there's nothing really cake about it. It's not sweet at all. I would say more so like a cupcake that you just took out the oven. Not something that's cold and has icing on it yet. Another thing you might want to get if you're trying to start your perfume collection uh, with vanillas. Not something that's overbearing or overpowering or projecting. This is not something that other people will smell, I don't think. Definitely a skin scent. Not something I would really wear by itself, maybe to bed. Or if you're just going to run errands and you don't care to put perfume on. Again, another thing, if you want to start your vanilla collection, this is something you probably want to have. All right, that is all I have for you guys today. Those are all of my favorite vanillas in my collection. Thank you all for watching. More perfume videos to come. And yeah, stay tuned. See y'all.